dear friends this is my tutorial 16 in VASP so in this video you can learn how to calculate formation energy of single atom catalyst so formation energy is important parameter to identify the stability of the catalyst if the formation energy is more negative is stably formed uh, if the formation energy is more positive it's, uh, it's very difficult to form the single atom catalyst so this is the paper published in nature catalysis in this paper they used one formula to calculate the formation energy i am also going to apply the same formula to calculate the formation energy for you i also using the similar formula for my research purpose also okay so in so this is the formula they used to calculate the formation energy so this is the E support means single atom catalyst so this is NC mu C means number of carbon added or removed this is the mm, chemical potential total energy of the corresponding carbon atom so likewise here also number of N this is our chemical potential of N okay here the mu ruthenium means chemical potential of the single ruthenium atom in the one cubic unit cell okay so the final one is e graphene means the total energy of the pure graphene without doping okay so you have to use like that so if you see down here they clearly mention what does means okay here you can see what i told here they also mention here nc and n n and mu c mu n and mu ruthenium are the numbers of carbon or nitrogen atom that were added or removed from the system on the chemical potentials of the element carbon nitrogen and ruthenium respectively okay so they mentioned uh, clearly they told then you can see mu c and mu n and mu ruthenium were obtained from the total dft energy of 888 graphene perfect graphene so that means mu c energy they obtained from the 888 perfect graphene so we need to so then mu n energy they used n2 molecule as the reference they used n2 molecule in the gas and also the isolated ruthenium single atom respectively that's all. okay i think you understand uh, this i think so now we can calculate the our uh, mm, formation energy so this is the calculated energy uh, myself so uh, this is the graphene total energy of uh, pure graphene 6 into 6 units uh, supercell so this is corresponding n nitrogen to n and ruthenium doped system total energy so this is the ruthenium chemical potential of uh, ruthenium the, this is actually single atom into the cubic cell okay so then this is c divided by 72 means this uh, graphene atom mm, this graphene unit supercell consists 72 atoms so i need to sub, uh, divide it by 72 with this energy this energy then you will get uh, uh, corresponding the single atom energy okay the single atom energy is minus 9.266843 and the this is the one is the pure nitrogen in the gas phase energy so i uh, just optimized in the, the corresponding cubic cell so i got uh, this is the total energy of n2 okay now i am going to tell you how to apply into the formula so here you can see the energy information energy e i mentioned here so here you can see here so this is um, graphene n4 ruthenium okay this is the total energy of uh, graphene n4 ruthenium so this is the six carbon uh, total energy of six carbon so actually we are used to two di vacancy this is actually my system di vacancy means a two carbon then we are re re replacing four carbon with uh, four nitrogen that means total six carbon we are uh, replacing so that's why mentioning the replacing uh, number of carbon atom energy okay then we are adding four nitrogen so this is the four nitrogen atom total energy so this is the ruthenium chemical potential so already told this is the uh, total energy of single atom ruthenium so then this is the 
pure graphene this is 16 to 6 uh, uh, pure graphene total energy what i mentioned here so just you can add into the your calculator and you will get the formation energy minus 4.10 this indicate that this system stably formed so i will tell you how to calculate uh, this energy using this values just copy it so go to scientific if you go standard it won't work go to scientific and just paste it copy paste it and uh, do some so you got your 4.09 that means 4.10 the formation energy of this system so i also mentioned 4.10 okay so likewise you can calculate your uh, formation energy for your system if whatever the case single atom dual atom multiple atom uh, so you can uh, calculate yourself if you are using molybdenum sulfide or tungsten selenide sulfide whatever the case you can uh, try to calculate uh, like this your uh, formation energy thank you for watching if you like my content please like and subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future video updates thank you for watching thank you thank you so much enjoy